What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the PostGrid element from WP Bakery WordPress plugin in order to create PostGrid like this one for example, okay? So before anything, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and like this video because we bring daily videos for every single part of WordPress website creation and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this channel. Now, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Once on dashboard, the very first thing that we need to make sure before creating the post grid, it's have the posts. The post grid can call posts from your WordPress post section. So right here on WordPress dashboard, if you review the left side, you have the posts and here is my blog posts. And in every single post, you must have a featured image, okay? So, in the case that you don't know how to apply a featured image, I gonna recommend that you review, go to YouTube and search for featured image visual model, and you're gonna be able to find an amazing tutorial explaining how to do this. But all these posts right here, by default, have some featured image, as you can review right here at the right side of my screen. Right here, we have the featured image. So no need to worry, the same process happened for WordPress projects, that is a custom post type, okay? So this is a custom post type. All the visual model WordPress themes came with an template, with a model to create a custom post type. So this is a custom post type, for example, for your portfolio, for your gallery, for your team members, and, cost and the posts grid from WP Bakery can call all of those custom post types. In the case that you are using WooCommerce, your products is a custom post type that you can call using the posts grid from WP Bakery. Now, let's go to a page. I go to page add new, but you can apply this on some page using the editor in the case that you want. This is gonna be my post grid page, and I'm gonna click in right here into the top of my screen to open the WP Bakery page builder editor, okay? After this, we're gonna have two options, okay? We have the option to use the back-end editor and the front-end editor. I'm gonna do the video using both in order so you can see the difference, okay? Instead of Elementor, WP Baker, we have two, option to ed two options to edit your pages. You have the front-end editor and the back-end editor. Let me open the front-end editor so you can see. It's almost like Elementor. You're gonna edit the page into the front end, into the so you can see the result immediately. And if you click on the back end editor, you can see the page back end. So here is for persons who prefer to keep things simpler to understand and don't care much about the options. Okay, so there we have both options. And the very first thing, independently of the editor that you're gonna be using, we're gonna click on right here to edit element. Okay, and once right here. If you are using a visual model WordPress theme, you're gonna be able to see more elements like MI right here, but all of the WP Bakery plugin installations have the posts grid element, and it's one of my favorite ones. This is the one, this is the guy, okay? Posts grid. I just have added this into my page. I'm gonna click on save change into this window that gonna opens. And let's preview the page. And here is the results I got. I'm calling my blog posts, okay? In a very simple way. Let's see the options that we have to edit the page. As soon as you hover your mouse over the post grid, you can see this pencil icon, this clone icon and the close icon. If I click right here, I'm gonna clone the element. If I click right here, I'm gonna delete the element, and if I click right here, I'm gonna edit the element. So, once again, I'm gonna be opening the Posts Grid Settings page. And, as you can remember, as I told, we have the sources of the Posts Grid. I'm calling the blog posts, but I can call the page, attachments, I can call team, portfolio, or projects, I can call products from WooCommerce in the case that I want, okay? So as you can review, I can call every single 
one of the posts grid of my site. I'm gonna keep calling the posts, okay? The total of items, I can change the total of items, for example, to four. I can display style. We can, for example, use a load more button, a lace loading, or a pagination, okay? Let me explain the load more button. I would like to call 12, and per page I would like to call 8. We can show filters in the case that you want. The grid elements per row. So per line, we're gonna have three columns, four, six, one, or two. I would like to have four. The gap, it's the space between the columns, okay? I'm gonna set this to have 20. We can have some CSS animation in the case that you want, okay? We can apply some, uh, some name to the element ID and some custom CSS class. And we are already good to go. i explain other settings later. And here is the result I got. I can click into this button and load more elements. Let me change it in order to have this layout, okay? But before, I would like to, instead of the lace loading, the pagination, okay? And instead of 8, I would like to have 3 and a total of items of 2. And into the grid elements per row, I would like to have only 3. Let's see the change. We have, we can now see some little dots at the bottom. And if I click on it, I'm gonna move the posts. Simple as it. It's this, I really like, I really like this element to using in the middle of some pages into, for example, to call the, to show some posts of our blog on the home page of your site to call some portfolio posts in the home page of your site. This grid element, it's really good. In the case that are using Visual Moto or Borderless WordPress plugin from Visual Moto, you have the portfolio element, okay? So you can have more options. Now, let's explore the data settings, okay? So what is this? We can order by author, by title, you can handle, by order, by ID. We can start order this. So ascending or descending, okay? We can have an offset. We can exclude some posts, some categories, some title, okay? We can set something to be excluded right here. The pagination, we can change the pagination. So, for example, we can change the color of the dots. I did change it to a dark color. Let's review. And here is the result. We can change the style of the dots, the arrows in the case that you want, for example. Apply some animations and it is. Now the eating design, we're gonna explore this later, okay? Let's review the arrows. As you can see right here, we have some little arrows. Now let's go to the eating design. And this is my favorite part. This is how many designs this element have by default. And we can even create new ones on the grid builder, but we can explore this in another video. But I, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a tutorial where to explain more about Grid Builder. Okay, so we have option on this plugin to create a post grid, but have you the link on the description in the case that you are interested. Whoever, by default, this plugin have all of those 
post grid layouts. The basic grid default is the one that it came, but let's see the other one. So if I hover, it does some little image rotation. Now let's try to call, for example, another source. We can call the portfolio posts of our site in a very simple way as well. I would like to change the hidden design. Maybe some media grid with simple overlay. And here is the result. We are now calling the medias, the portfolio posts of my site. If I click on it, I'm gonna be opening the post, whoever I can set to as click. We can open the post directly, just changing the hidden design from the masonry or post grid. Simple as it is. Now let's explore how does it work into the front end of our site. Here is the front end editor from WP Bakery, okay? Works in exactly the same way, however, now we can see the results immediately. Once again, we're gonna click on add new button to add element button and search for our post grid. As you can review, we have Mastering Grid, Post Mastering Grid, Media Grid, but the Post Grid already englobe all. Here is my posts. All are there, all are here already. I can click into this now to edit the posts. Let's explore more about the Here is now the other designs. We have many designs options to play with. And as you can see, once now I have the show all option, or the load more button, we can now edit the load more button style. So the load more button color, the load more button size, the alignment of the load more button, to apply icons into the load more button, okay? The load more button, let me just save to show you. Here is the load more button, okay? As you can review, we have many, many options to display our portfolio, blog posts, and other things, okay? We can use, you can display only the blog posts from some category in the case that you want. Type in the category name right here, okay? Let me apply a filter. Here is the result. Now persons can click onto the filter and as soon as you apply a filter, here is what it happens. We have now a filter design options. We can filter by category, by tags or other parts, okay? We can change the filter style.
the default title, it's all, we can change this title as well, we can change the filter alignment, and we can change the filter colors. And in addition, we can change the filter size. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes and our blog for more tutorials, okay? In addition, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress theme and an awesome free WordPress plugin in order to build your site up, go to visualmodo.com or go to wordpress.org and search for our Enzo WordPress theme, okay? It's the best free WordPress theme on the planet. And go to the pro in the case that you want to start with some ready websites like one of those ones. We have up to a hundred websites ready waiting for you. In addition, I'm gonna leave some links into the description below and a card over here for some very useful source of information, for example, a source of tools in that region. You can, for example, purchase a domain name for 99 cents and many more nice things like this one. So review those links into the first comment of this video. Moreover, if you find this content useful, if I did help it you by any means, please hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend of yours, with your family, you have no idea how much it helps us, okay? So, it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I see you tomorrow, and all the best!